So just looking at the browse page right now, the top 20 games are usually the worst games to stream because there are so many people live that it would be impossible to be found. What's good YouTube, I'm Vic8 and in this video I'm going to show you how to find out what games to stream on Twitch that are not massively saturated and they'll help you become more discoverable. Before we start, if you like what I'm doing, make sure to press that subscribe button so you can keep up to date with my uploads and ring that bell. So let's start off with what does less saturated mean and how do I find out the right game to stream. So less saturated can be used to describe a game or category where the amount of people watching and the amount of people that are live playing that game are evenly split. Take Fortnite for example. Fortnite is a very oversaturated game because the amount of people watching and the amount of channels live are vastly different. If you look at the top six channels, they usually account for the majority of the viewership within that game. Whereas if you take Dark Souls, for example, the amount of viewers is evenly spread out over multiple channels, meaning that there isn't a lot of people playing that game, but it's still a good amount. Firstly, let's take a look on Twitch and find the less saturated games. From the home page, simply click browse and it'll bring up all the games that are currently live on Twitch. Uh, just a quick side note, as of this recording, there isn't a way to find the kind of like less saturated games. You kind of just have to scroll down and find them yourself. So just looking at the browse page right now, the top 20 games are usually the worst games to stream because there are so many people live that it would be impossible to be found. But if we were to scroll down and try and find a game with a lot less viewers, so for example The Witcher 3, you'll notice that it has 700 viewers at the minute, but they're quite evenly spread out. There are a few streams, obviously the top ones will always have the higher viewers, but it's not like it's all the viewers in that one person. There are a lot of viewers with two, a lot of channels with two viewers though, which, is, which isn't the best, basically. But it's not the worst, you can usually get good viewers from it. Anything with roughly less than a thousand viewers is a good game to stream. Another type of game to stream would be the older kind of games, so things like Legend of Zelda or Super Mario. But you need to keep in mind that just because it's further down the list, it doesn't mean that it's less saturated. There can be cases where one streamer is playing a game and has all the viewers in the category. So if you are going through Twitch and you see something like that, it's usually best to avoid it or just wait for the streamer to finish and see what happens later. So with that being said, let's move on to uh, Twitch Strike. Twitch Strike is a website that takes all the data from all the games being streamed on Twitch and puts them into heat maps, which basically show you when it's the best and worst times to stream and when it's the best and worst time to play those specific game. So let's take Fortnite for example. Search that. What's up with this? So as of right now, there are 14, almost 15,000 channels live with almost 55,000 viewers in that category alone, which comes out to a ratio of about four viewers per channel, which you can say that as you will, obviously the lower channels will have much less viewers. So as you can see here, this is the channel heat map and it basically shows you when the most channels are live in this category. So the lesser kind of lighter colours are when it's quieter, when there's less channels, but you've also got to take in mind that there's probably a lower ratio of people watching. So for example, on Saturday at about midday, there's only going to be a ratio of about three people watching each stream. So if we take Saturday at 8pm, there are roughly 20,000 channels live on Twitch streaming Fortnite, which is just an absolutely insane amount and it's very hard to get discovered through that. So let's take another game for example, let's do uh, Frostpunk. Frostpunk is usually much lower down on the uh, Twitch page. So on the channel heat map for this, if you take Thursday for example, at six o'clock, there's, um, there's, only, there's only 11 channels live, but there's 31 viewers watching the game, which is roughly three per channel. Um, this is good because it, it's kind of evenly spread out. So you're not having one person have all the viewers. And usually with this, you can scroll down to the bottom of the page quite quickly. You don't even necessarily have to scroll sometimes, it's just all of them on one view. Which, that ultimately makes you so much easier to be discovered. What I have found out about this game though is from time to time there can be a spike in viewership. And that's usually because there's like a bigger streamer playing this game. 
So I'd suggest before you play a game or go live on Twitch, you just search the game that you're wanting to play and see kind of what people are playing and whether or not it's worth streaming. So that's the video, thanks for watching. If this video helped at all, make sure to leave a like and comment down below if this video helped. If you're still struggling on what to stream, feel free to comment and I'll try my best. But until next time, I'll see you around.